Hey guys, it's Jeff. So yesterday we awoke to the sounds of another shooting in Texas. This one was at a church during a church service uh, where two people were killed and one person was injured. And in today's video, I'm going to cover this video. I'm going to cover the actions, reactions, and uh, just kind of give you my thoughts on it. Um, I have blurred the video, so uh, it's not going to be graphic or anything. Hopefully YouTube won't take this video down. But anyway, I'll uh, get right into it after this. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. So, you know, when the news reports first started coming in yesterday that uh, there was a church shooting and two people were killed, one person was injured, obviously, you start processing, you know, what could have happened, what was the probable outcome, the cause and effect, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you want to give the benefit of the doubt to society that, you know, this wasn't just another random act of violence, that this was something that was, you know, domestic related, you know, maybe a a former ex-boyfriend or girlfriend targeting their ex-lover, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe, you know, somebody gets caught in the crossfire, that kind of thing. Well, turns out as the day unfolded, there was, uh, you know, more and more exposure as to what happened. And it wasn't coming from the media. It was coming from social media where people were uncovering that there was a live stream of the event that occurred. And there was an actual capturing of the video that, that went on. And in that video, you can clearly see uh, what happens. And it was a exactly what a, you hope never happens. It was an insane person who decided to commit a random act of violence and took it out on this church on this Sunday morning. So I'm going to go over this video. Uh, I'm going to start here and we'll just get right into it. And I'll give you my thoughts afterward. I zoomed into the relevant area to see it better. It's become pixelated, but you get the idea. Here you see a man stand up who is wearing black and approach one of the gentlemen who is leaning against the wall. As he leans in and says something, the man points to his right and that is when the shooter pulls out a shotgun and aims it at the man sitting who will become the first victim. I've blurred this portion of the video to keep it from being taken down. The shooter is leveling his shotgun. The man sitting stands up and begins to pull a weapon from his 4 or 5 o'clock position. He's slow in his draw and he's drawing while facing down the barrel of a murderer. This is a horrible scenario and I have nothing but respect for this man who was facing a life-threatening situation. Instead of freezing, he acted. There will be time to analyze his actions later, but for now, he is a hero who should be respected. Once the first man is shot, the shooter turns to the man closest to him that flinches at the blast and is then shot by the gunman. At this point, you see people diving for cover, but to the far left, you see a man who doesn't seek cover and instead draws his own weapon. After the second shot, you see the shooter turn towards the front of the room and begin walking towards the stage. At this point, the man who has drawn his own weapon takes one shot, striking the gunman in the head and ending the threat. I had to watch this about a dozen times because the shot is so good. Perfect head shot, and the shooter is stopped immediately. Or the second hero this day is Jack Wilson. I have his image here for you. He runs a license to carry company, and it's obvious this man has done more than just target practice at his uh, at his local range. So at this point, I've zoomed back out so you can see all the actions that are occurring. You see people still, you know, seeking cover, uh, unsure what to do, and then you've got the rest of the security for the church starting to deploy their firearms. And other people just in the pews who also are carrying that day. And now you see them approach the shooter who's now down. You know, every single one of these folks should be commended. You know, they take the responsibility of carrying their firearms uh, to church with them and probably to other places as well. You never know where evil is going to appear. And kudos to every single one of them for, for taking on that responsibility. All right, guys, I'm back. So this is a sad and triumphant video. This is sad because uh, an innocent person lost their life, but there was a triumph this day where only one person was murdered. The bad guy was immediately put down after the second shot in that room that day because there were armed civilians willing to take up the responsibility of concealing a firearm and taking it into this establishment um, and, and exercising their Second Amendment right to bear arms. Uh, in the protection of themselves, their families, their loved ones, people around them that they may or may not care about, but are innocent civilians who don't deserve to be murdered by evil people who just want to cause chaos in society. 
Now, remember that, guys. We're, we're coming up on an election season. Uh, we're seeing the actions that are occurring in Virginia right now where a Democratic government uh, was just recently voted into office, and now they're trying to pass through a bunch of gun control legislation to neuter the Second Amendment, to make it more and more difficult for good people to preserve, protect, and defend themselves against all enemies, whether they be a murderer who would come into their home or to a tyrannical government who would restrict their right to own, own firearms. These are the kinds of things that the Second Amendment was designed to protect against. People who would make you defenseless to make you helpless and dependent upon government. And that's not the American way. That's not what people have fought for in the past and who will fight for in the future. And we need to fight now. So anyway, that's really all I've got, guys. This is one of those sad but heroic events that occurred. Um, Jack Wilson, the, the gentleman who ended the threat that day, is a hero. The man who was initially shot that, that tragically lost his life, he's also a hero. Uh, there were a lot of heroes that day. A lot of people did out, outstanding work in order to protect those around them. And we should remember those folks. So anyway, that's all I got, guys. Um, if you appreciate this kind of content and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram. You can find my content on BitChute and on GunStreamer. Um, and you can look for me on Facebook if you want to have a dialogue, throw it in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And uh, look for more content you know, related to reviews of uh, firearms and firearms accessories, uh, knives, and other outdoor kinds of products. Um, I'm going to SHOT Show next week, so hopefully I'll have a lot of good content out of there. Uh, but anyway, until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.